Hello, 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 I am Jeff, and welcome to Recycling Center Simulator, the prologue. Now, just from this main menu, the music in the Steam page, this looks very, very promising. So let's jump right into it, and hopefully the music isn't copyright or YouTube friendly, so we'll see, but let's jump right into it. Welcome. We are thrilled to have you experience a preview of our game now as we prepare for its official launch. This comes out in September, according to the Steam page. This prologue offers a, a glimpse into the exciting world of recycling management. A good lesson to all of us out there. While we're putting the finishing touches on the frame, you might still experience some bugs. Yep, we all know that. And they wanted to try to post with our help for the main release. And thank you for being part of this journey. And yep, uh, I'll just go ahead and click OK. Let's go outside and find a box machine and grab it. Oh, this just it looks it looks good. And so far, it just feels amazing. Hopefully everything is running smoothly. I changed some uh, recording settings over here. Hope you're having a fantastic week or weekend. I'm not entirely sure when this is going up. I hope you're just having a fantastic day in general. Now build it and they will come uh, in the proper area. Oh, right over here. Uh, B. Oh, cool. So I'm just going to put it right here. I don't know how much room I'll need. Oh, look at our little fancy machine. The guy that scrapped, open your computer to find. Okay. So yeah, this one I am following the tutorial since it is a prologue. I do not know what to expect. So we got a computer over here. Uh, to gather scrap, open the computer to find a suitable scrap deal is negotiate your, with the owners to lower the, ooh, so we got to negotiate. So right here, uh, they want it for a 120 for the scrap from the general store. 120 bargain. Greetings. Can you give me information about the price of your waste you have? Wow. Well, I never thought you would make an offer. Make. I never thought these would make money. If you give me 120, all of them in short. Well, you should have never told me that. Uh, so 120. How about how does a uh, 75 dollar sound? Uh, I duh. I can give you $75. I think 107 is better. You know what? Not as good as 80. There we go. How about 80? Let's settle on 107. Promise. Wow, you, you drive a hard bargain, but let's try 90. Let's, give, me, give me it for 90. Come on. Typing. Yes. Knew I'd make you budge. Let's go, Taylor Walker. Okay. Uh, so, uh, $90 is deal. Oh, bargaining. Let's go. This is going to be so much fun. I'm already looking forward to the main game. You know how much I love my simulators. Uh, get in your truck and move to the scrap. Oh, we can drive a truck. Ooh, I love the ambiance. Very, very nice. Oh. Oh, so we just kind of just teleport there. Okay, cool. Sounds good. Uh, there is so much waste. Start with this. Oh, so we drive, drive to the location. And we pick up the waste from their location. So grab, grab. Oh, sounds good. Yeah, guys, so far I am really liking this. It feels good. It's running smoothly. Obviously, I'll say if I run into, uh, run into, uh, honey bugs, uh, open this and then I just, uh, throw. Oh, nice. So the big items I have to throw inside. So like this. Have to throw inside here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just clean this place up just real quick. Can't gather. Trash bag is full. What does that mean? Oh. So grab you. And I just throw you in there as well. Oh, nice. Okay. So I'm still working on this. On the left side of the screen, it shows you how much trash you have to gather from the on site location. And then it shows you the area completion as well. Uh so far, uh doing not too bad. Oh, I see it. It's in the bottom middle of the screen. How much room I have in my channel. Ooh, a little robot. Very, very nice. There we have it. Now we can head back to the factory. That took a minute because there was actually a couple of little tiny pieces out here and whatnot. But let's head on back to the factory. Oh, yeah, I got to close the doors. Don't want to lose our preci precious materials and have them drop all over the uh, highway. Ooh, here we go. Oh, it's like a little sled. Not really. You don't want to go inside that sled. Okay, now put the waste in the conveyor belt. Okay, so uh, drop. Ooh, you know what? I love automation. Speaking of which, Satisfactory in a couple weeks will be going to 1.0. So I might be doing some content on that. That might actually be 
live stream no since there is a lot of work that goes into that game cannot wait till that game hits 1.0 uh, okay uh oh start the machine okay uh one sec uh let's see start Ooh. throw the waste in the collect correct holes uh, uh yellow green red uh uh gray here oh no oh no <laughs> no no i'm gonna fail oh no okay it just gets stopped at the end cool 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 uh because i was gonna get very very confused here uh at least it highlights uh, i kind of wonder if there's a way to kind of remember which one goes into which i have to i want to go look at the basket after this uh get these done i gotta do even more in a second there we go Ooh. Grab the sorty, sorted waste paper, box paper, and throw it in the correct machine's entrance. Okay. Okay, cool, cool. So it gives you combo points. Nice, nice. Now, I was actually curious. No. I, I, one thing I hope, and this is just something I'll suggest, is put a label on these trash cans so you can kind of remember which color is which to what without feeling like you're constrained to a time limit with that uh, sorting machine. But uh, let me go ahead and get the rest of this stuff real quick. There we go. Okay, so I gotta go in the paper and throw it. So we got this sorted, cool. Like I said, I hope uh, there's something to kind of tell you which is color for which. Uh, you probably learn over time though. Uh, let's see, so. Ooh. Get to the control panel of the machine and put the products on the product line. Okay. So right here move this over and then run oh so wait i want to make as many as possible i don't know how many i can make how much paper parts do i have oh i got nine. Oh, well nine point three i can't do point three like that and run there we go so i'm going to get the rest real quick so right here we got some more and carry other sort of boxes to storage while your machine produce the okay so uh storage oh okay so i don't got to sort the other things yet so blue is paper so that the machines definitely the machines are color coded to your bins that's good to know okay cool cool uh, let's put you like right there and what is ooh look at it it's art very very nice grab a pallet from the pallet stack okay load the pallet with products so put you right there and then uh, whoa i can fit more come on oh yeah again there we go and use the pallet jack and carry them so where's the pallet jack Hello, Jack. Ooh, I know when I tried a uh, beer factory simulator, this did not work well. This is actually working smoothly on this game, though. And yeah, that is very smooth. Like I said, when I show these games off, I'd like to show off all parts and let you know my thoughts as I'm doing it. You decide for yourself if the game is for you. Oh, yeah, that is very nice. Walk up to it and just left click and you have it put on nice. Uh, okay. Uh, there we go. Ooh. Smooth as butter. Let's go. Uh, enter the marketplace from your computer and inspect offers for your products. Oh, so we kind of just recycle it down. People buy it. So marketplace. So if you want pressed papers for parts, I got pressed papers. Let's see. Angus has an offer right here. Oh, let's see. Find a suitable offer and sell your products. Market offers replenish once per hour. So we only have paper and you can make different things. You make newspapers, envelopes, paper roll, plastic bottles, plastic pipes. Okay. Cool. Cool. Like a crafting type of game. Very, very nice paper though. We have pressed papers. Storage 10. There's 10 in the storage. Not really your amount. They want 18, we have 10. Don't really have enough for everybody. Oh, 
Wait, so... I can enter the amount that I have. So I want to sell you 10 of them. I'll sell you 10 of them. Oh, and th that's their demand. I got it now. So their demand goes down the more you sell them. To fulfill high value orders, open your computer, click on the contracts button to find customers that pay. So contracts, uh, pinnacle. You want 32 pressed papers. Uh, what about plastics? Oh, I can't do plastics. Uh, bargain. Hello, I would like to bargain for the offer on the ads. Greetings. We have an urgent order requiring your services. The budget is 240. Uh, will you do 275? I just like 75. Please? Agreed upon. 275. Okay, that just makes me sound easy. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I got 10 days to complete that order. Problem is, I don't have any more paper. You want 32 papers. Okay. Oh, I just clicked deal and that did something. Oh, I, I, I took the, uh, I took the offer. Got it. Okay. So go and buy a new machine. Ooh, uh, I got $980. I'll buy the, which machine do I want? Which is the other contract that's going to be coming up? Plastic. Okay. So go to contracts. Oh, go to door. Oh, we're going to be able to hire staff in the future. That's going to be awesome. So we can do plastics, wood, paper, metal, glass. Can't do plastic yet. So, oh yeah, I can right here. Bye. There we go. Okay, there is my uh, plastic machine. Oh, I can hire a sorting worker. Let's go. I love a demo that or prologue that can show off more uh, than one thing. So let's see. Uh, we have Roch Anderson, three star, age twenty four, daily wages at twenty. Hire. There you go. You can go to your bed and sleep to pass the day and. One new contracts and scrap deals will come when you sleep. So we got plastics here. That's a yellow. So let's go ahead and get these going and put you in our machine. I know it's getting late. We got to go to sleep, but there we go. And poof, it disappears and it doesn't go back over there. Interestingly enough, do I got to buy more containers? Maybe. I don't know. Uh, let's see. So we got 11. So we're going to make 11 of you and do that and run it. Watch it get made. Oh, that is just so satisfying. Kind of looks like cereal. Okay, we're going to go head to sleep now. Ah, the life of a recycling center worker. Oh, day one. Market sales plus 70. And we got scrap deals in negative uh, 615. Daily balance, negative 545. Let's go. Oh, and that is it for the tutorial. Very interesting. So do other scrap deals pop up? Yes, they do. Right here. Let's go ahead and bargain with you. Greetings. Can you give me information about the price of which you have? Uh, I don't want much. 108 is enough. Uh, let's see. Will you do uh, 70? 70? How about 70, Emma? Emma, work with me here. One on two dollars emma do you not know how to bargain uh let's go ahead and do 85. we'll, we'll go up for you emma went up a little bit agreed there we go so deal uh and then we got you can i can't bargain with you until i do this one okay Ooh, look at this place oh man uh, i okay i love traveling on scene or on site to collect your scrap that is pretty pretty cool i'm really liking this and that is complete. Close the doors. Head on back. And I'm curious. Do the bins reset? Oh, here's my worker right here. Hello, buddy. Uh, Roch, I think your name is. Oh, you just collect the stuff from the... Oh. Very, very nice. I'll help you out, buddy. Get everything a lot quicker. Two, two people make the dream work. Let's go. What, whatever the saying is. I don't even know if it's the same, but let's go. Uh, uh, oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Do you just unload the stuff or do you actually sort it for me? No, you you're, you just unload. Okay, buddy. Uh, I go up here and do the things automatically go into a bin. I think so. Oh, yes, I do. Very, very nice. Uh fast with this kind of reminds me of a gas station simulator when you're uh working the register all right there 
Okay, so this is actually fairly easy. So far. Oh, there is so much. I'm sorry, I'm just so focused right now. That is a lot of scrap. Or at least a lot of paper. I think that's all paper. Or plastic? No. Paper. That's all paper. Very nice, because I have a order to complete for the paper for the uh, contracts. Let's go. So I'm going to take one more. Hello. Hey, Nathan. How you doing? You want 170? Uh, how about 130? Meet me there, please. Just, just a little bit down. Yo, 130. Let's go. Thank you for your business. I'm going to head on over in just a second. I'm going to get this stuff situated. We have a plastic bin, so... Uh, oh yeah, we don't have any plastic. Oh, that's, that's perfectly fine. We do, however, have a factory. Ooh. So you can buy different factory borders. Okay, sounds good. Oh, I love that. So easy to place things onto the pallet. Let, let's go. So I'm going to go ahead and work this real quick and just see what we can unlock in the demo. Alrighty, so a little time has passed since that last cut, but I have everything you can unlock in the prologue. First, we're going to go to the computer while we wrap this up. One thing I'm curious about is, what does the rest of the staff look like? I want to first off by say that I'm just very excited for this game. It is a lot of fun, very relaxing, kind of reminds me of Power Wash Simulator in some aspects. Just sorting your recycling stuff and putting it on pallets, it's just very, very relaxing. But we have a trash collector in the full version. So I'm, I'm assuming they just go to locations that collect the trash for you. Or I'm wondering if they will sort the uh, recycled products in the machine. Uh, I'm kind of hoping for that because it's a little tedious. And I learned for each combo you get, you actually get an extra amount of scrap and whatnot. But if we head on over to staff, you can also get a salesman, which I'm assuming will be in charge of selling the products because salesman, but that is something to look forward to. But all we had was just a sorting worker for now. Can you do more than one? Oh yeah, I never knew you could have, I could have did multiple sorting workers to uh, start my stuff, which was not really needed. Then if we head on over to the store, everything else is locked until the full version, but we got the pressing paper machine. Uh, stage two, which I'll go over in just a second. It basically allows you to craft more advanced items and then all this other stuff is locked. And then for contracts, you can actually get up to reputation level six. And then it basically allows for more advanced sales where the people will want more things. As you can see with these icons, that's next to the name and stuff like that. Or some people will want multiple things. Now the things like metal pipes and stuff, we can't actually make it because we are locked for the prologue. Now, I'll just go ahead and go on over. I think that's all that I have over here. If I'm not mistaken, it looks like I hope I'm not forgetting anything. Here are all our basic machines. I did the uh, expansions that we could for the storage area as well as the machine area. And then this is the level two paper machine. Now level two machines allow you to make those advanced products that people will want like paper rolls with this machine. For example, to make paper rolls, you're going to want pressed papers. So I would get pressed papers from over here from the paper machine, have that machine make the pressed papers from our recycled products. Then I would bring it over here and put it in here and make rolled papers if a or a business wants it as a contract. So there are steps that are going to be required in the main game to get the more advanced products out there. And I didn't really make it for now, but that's just how that works. Almost like any factory where you want to keep leveling up and move things from one to the next and whatnot. It would be cool if I could like connect like a conveyor belt, which I don't think there will be that, but like a conveyor belt to that machine just to make the automation process a little bit easier. But like I guess I don't think that's going to be a thing. I don't mind walking around. It was, it was very relaxing nonetheless. Anyways, we're going to head on over to here. Okay, so there was a cut there because I had a light bulb moment when I was talking about the conveyor belts and the automated stuff. What if I put this advanced machine to make parts next to this? When we put it closer, as you can see, that little black box actually turns green. So it should automatically get put in that machine, right? 
that's what I kind of thought of for a second. So let's try it out. I want to get it. I want to get a job real quick because I like to be thorough when I do these videos and look over a game. So let's just do 37. Go ahead and run it. And does it automatically get put in? Maybe. It does. Look at that. That is amazing. If only I could automatically have this run, that would make it even better. But just as having what it looks like, let's go ahead and just make a couple real quick. I know we're trying to wrap this up, but I'm enjoying this so much right now. Oh, yeah. That is awesome. So you can basically set it up to just deliver it into the next machine, which is really, really cool. So if you don't want to do that for now, you can just move the machine out of the way. And that is very, very nice. But if we head on over here, this is my storage area. It was more full earlier, but I did more stuff. I have a ton of metal. Everything has ran smoothly. The game, I didn't really experience any bugs except at night when I'm moving around with the expanded uh, machine room. The lights will flicker on and off or it'll get dark for some reason. That's probably the only thing I really experienced. I do kind of wish there were like a little signage on here just to say what goes in there for the thing or maybe like a sign that's like color coded inside your office like uh, to let the employees know. I think that would be kind of cool little detail. But I think that is it. I'm just thinking real quick to make sure I didn't miss anything. And no, sorry for the cut. I had to really think about it because I don't think I missed anything. In the future, we can buy expanded parking. I don't know what that does if the customers can come pick up their orders and whatnot. Like I said, super excited for the game. Comes out sometime in September, according to the Steam page. And yeah, be sure to check it out for yourself. I always link the games I play in the description down below. And also check out the Discord, which is in the description down below. Pin comment or up over here. And I hope you guys enjoy and let me know what you think about the game as well. Until next time, remember to change the world one spot at a time. You never know whose life you can save or change. And as always, I can't wait to see you in the next live stream and or video. Love you guys.